We visited Lyceum School as part of our mission in October 2009. When we went to the school, it was just like a breath of fresh air. You arrived at this building with children that were really smiley, happy, um, really enjoying life, which was such a contrast for what we had just seen, that it really lifted all of our spirits. The whole school has this very warm feeling, even though it's quite strict and fairly regimented, as it needs to be, and they're very respectful to the teaching staff. The headmaster was totally involved in his school and, and seemed to know every child and was very um, welcoming to us and delighted that we came. The school was opened in 1994. It used to be financed primarily by the American Orthodox Union. We felt that the children had a great pride in their school. They were delighted to show us all sorts of things um, in different classrooms and things that were on display. Good morning, good morning. We are glad to see you. We sat in an English class, and let me tell you, their English was spectacular, <laughs> considering we couldn't speak any of their language at all. The United Kingdom is in the northwest of Europe. Uh, between the North Sea and Atlantic Ocean. As a teacher myself, obviously, I was particularly interested in going to visit the Lyceum. The children were absolutely delightful. They wanted to learn. They really behaved beautifully. Some of the children at the school actually travel quite a long distance to get to the school, and some of them do come from quite difficult backgrounds. I was chatting to a little girl who's father had been out of work for a good few years. Many of the children here are from one-parent families, single mothers who find it very difficult to support their children, and for those children it's important just to be able to eat here. Lyceum integrates mainstream students with special needs students. The building is not particularly well suited to disabled children, but they manage and uh, people are brought in to give them the therapies they require. They really integrated well, and a few of the more able seem to help the less able ones. The children themselves may not come from orthodox background, but the school and the ethos of the school is an orthodox school. And what the children were learning, they were then taking back and teaching their families. celebrating all the different Jewish festivals. And they um, were also teaching them about Israel. In the main hall, they had lots of flags up and pictures. We saw all the aspects of Jewish way of life in Harkov, but I think Lyceum meant a lot to us because it's the children and it is the future. It's taking Jewish children and giving them a Jewish education and they know who they are and where they come from. If the school wasn't there for these children, the um, future would be very bleak. Children that had disabilities are not well catered for at all, so they would end up at a state-run institution where they could face neglect and abuse. And obviously, the able children, there would be no Jewish education for them. I estimate that through our school, we've saved the lives of between 10 and 20 children with special needs. And I personally believe that when you save a life, you save the world. I'm not a young man, and I grew up in a society where it was forbidden to be a Jew, to be a part of the Jewish community, or to lead a Jewish life. And for me, it's fantastic to think that a school like this even exists. It's a dream come true, not just for me, but for my parents and grandparents as well.